Hello students, how are you? So, in today's video, I am going to start a new chapter that is linear equations in one variable. This is chapter number 2 of NCRT book. Okay, so I hope uh, my all the students are cleared with chapter rational number. So, let's begin with linear equation in one variable. So, in this video, I am going to explain to you about the basic terms associated with linear equations. Okay, what are the key points and how we are going to solve any given linear equation. Okay, so first of all, we will start with equation. As the name suggests, children, equation, equation is the name derived from to equate, okay, or equal to sign. So, an equation says two things are equal. Okay. So, it will have an equal sign. It says that what is on left is equal to what is on right. Like LHS is equal to RHS. So, let us take an example. In LHS, I have 7 plus 2. It gives me 9. And in RHS, I have 10 minus 1. It gives me 9. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Okay. Now, the question may arise like, so does the equation look like this only? No. Equation can be represented by an algebraic expressions. Okay. Again, algebraic, mainly algebraic means use of letters. Okay. The letters which we have in our English alphabet can be used over here. Expressions means the way to represent these algebraic terms, okay, involving one or more unknown quantities, okay, unknown quantities are called variables. So, I will explain all these terms involved here in the next slides. So, move further. So, in the previous slide, I talked about algebraic expression. So, let us have a look over here. It is an expression made up of variables and constants along with algebraic operations like addition, subtraction, etc. Okay. So, an expression that is made up of variables and constants. Okay. So, let us take an example of uh, what uh, other types of uh, algebraic expressions can be. X minus 5 equals to 7. So, here X is what? Unknown quantity. Because the value of X is not known to us. We will calculate the value of X. We will calculate value of Y here. M and for Z as well. Okay. So, the unknown quantities are known as variables. I hope uh, the definition of algebraic expression is clear to you. It is an expression made up of variables and constant. So, move further. Linear equation in one variable. Okay. Now, equation I have already explained. A term linear is joined here in front of equation. Okay. And a term 1 is again joined in front of variable. Clear? So, linear equation. An equation in which highest power of variable is 1 is called linear equation. And a linear equation consisting only one variable is called linear equation in one variable. So, let's explain it with an example. So, I'm going to explain this. The example here is taken as 2x plus 3 equals to 5. Okay. Now, linear. So, the unknown quantity variable is x. The power of x is 1. So, when the highest power of variable is 1, it is called linear equation. Okay. Now, <coughs> a linear equation consisting only one variable. Okay. There is only one unknown quantity that is x. Okay. You may find equations where this x will be replaced by any letter, any alphabet. Okay. So, do not get confused. Okay. For in your syllabus, 
there is only linear equation in one variable clear children so how this linear e equation can be classified further what are the different terms which are associated with this linear equation as you can see 3 and 5 are known as constant constant means fixed values okay x is variable variable is what unknown quantity whose value is not known to us okay and the multiple of this variable or the factor by which the variable is getting multiplied here it is 2 so the it is the 2 is called coefficient clear so once again i'll repeat the factor by which variable is multiplied that factor is known as coefficient okay children here i have uh, written uh, various definitions so coefficient is it is a number used to multiply a variable like in this the coefficient is 2 in 6z the coefficient is 6 because 6 is getting multiplied by the variable in this expression x plus 1 equals to 2 what is the number that is being multiplied by x very good yes it is 1 okay then second definition variable an unknown quantity in the equation is called variable generally letters are used to represent variables i have already explained this thing to you constant it is a fixed value that is known to us in the equation fixed value like 3 4 1 2 etc okay now let's move to the steps how to find solution of linear equation in one variable clear so there are four operation which we can perform to solve any kind of given linear equation the first step we can do same quantities can be added to both side of equation let's suppose this is the question which has to be solved same quantity can be added so i have added 2 on both the sides so now my new equation becomes 2x plus 5 equals to 6 this equation is again equal to the given equation if i solve these two equation i will get same value of x clear second step can subtract the same quantity from both the sides okay again i have taken same question now i have subtracted minus 1 from both the sides so my new equation will become 2x plus 2 equals to 3 if i solve this equation and the original equation i will get the same value of x clear third one can multiply same non zero number to both sides of equation okay again i have taken same question and i have multiplied both sides by 3 so now my new equation becomes 6x plus 9 equals to 12. Again, I am going to get same answer, same value for x. And the fourth step which we can do is can divide both sides of an equation by same non-zero number. So same question and I have divided it by 2 on both the sides. So on simplification, I will get 2x upon x, 2, I will get x, 3 upon 2, I will get 3 by 2, and 4 divided by 2, I will get 2. Again, I will get same value of x. I hope these 4 steps are clear to you. You can use any one, any 2 steps to solve your linear equation. Okay, now let's come to very important method that is transposition method. Okay, children. In this method, any term of the equation can be transposed from one side. One side means, say, LHS to another side like RHS or vice versa by changing its sign. Signs changed uh, as follows. Okay. I have made a table for you. Like if you transpose plus from LHS to RHS. So when plus moves to RHS or other side, 
it will change to minus. Minus changes to plus. Multiplication changes to division. And division changes to multiplication. Children, this method is very, very important. Okay. Now, I have here uh, written some of the examples. So, these examples will make you understand how we are going to solve the given linear equation. First question is solve 5x minus 3 equals to 17. Okay. Now, children, I would like to mention some very important points. Children, always remember that the variable term should be kept in LHS. Always. Okay. Because what, why I am saying this to you? This will solve the confusion. This will not create any kind of confusion in your mind. Okay. So, whatever is unknown to us is always kept in LHS. So, unknown is 5x. It will kept, it will be kept here only in LHS. Now, we will transpose minus 3 to RHS. So, what is the transposition rule? Minus changes to plus. So, when this minus 3 moves to RHS, it will get a sign of plus. Clear? So, 17 plus 3 will become 20. Okay. Now, 5 is what here? 5 is coefficient of x and it is getting multiplied by x. I only want x to be in LHS. So, when multiplication is transposed, it is changed to division. So, this 5 will be transposed and it will be in the denominator. So, the value of x will be x equals to 4. Clear? Let's move to second example. Solve 8x equals to 20 plus 3x. Okay? Now, the unknown quantity, that is the variable x is on both the sides, LHS as well as RHS. But what I told you, keep the variable in LHS only. So, the first step, we will transpose 3x to LHS. Here, the value of 3x is with plus sign. So, when it will be transposed, it will get minus sign. Okay. And in RHS, we will have 20. So, 8x minus 3x. Okay. We will, this x is common. In both the terms, so we can take x common. Now, perform simple subtraction operation. 8 minus 3 equals to 5. So, what you will get? 5x equals to 20. Again, repeat the same step as we have done in previous question. So, you will get value of x as 4. Let's move to third question. How this type of question you can also get in your exam. In this question, you have to solve the given linear equation as well as verify the value, verify the result. Okay. So, again, variable is on both the sides, but variable has to be in LHS. So, we will transpose 2x. It is now positive. After transposing, it will have minus sign. So, 5x minus 2x plus 7 as it is equals to minus 8. Now, we will transpose 7 to RHS because in LHS we want only variable. So, 5x minus 2x. This plus 7 will change to minus 7. Okay, children. Now, minus 8 minus 7 minus 15 and 3 is in multiplication. So, when it will be transposed, it will be in denominator. So, x equals to, you will get minus 5. Now, to verify, verify means you have got x equals to minus 5. Now, you want to check whether your answer is correct or not. So, how we will do that? You will keep the value, you will put the value of x into the given question. Okay? So, put the value of x that is minus 5 in both sides of equation. Here, I have put the values of x. Okay. Now, after solving, you will get minus 18, minus 18 on both the sides. Means, LHS is equal to RHS. So, the value of x is verified. It means, the value which you have determined for x 
is a unique solution for the given question. I hope children, uh, today what I have explained is clear to you. Okay, in the next video, I will take up uh, exercise 2.1, complete solutions. Thank you.